climbing a giant sequoia, each tree is its own adventure. It's an amazing and humbling experience to have the opportunity to climb to the top of these trees that have lived in the same place for such a long time. And so what you do when you show up at one of these trees is you take cord that we've already placed into the tree the prior year and attach your rope to it and pull it in all 600 feet of it. Arborists have created all of these amazing ways to get into trees. So most of the equipment that we use is developed by arborists. When you first start up, sometimes you're not as close to the trunk as you want and it can be quite strenuous. It's a very labor intensive process. You just kind of inchworm your way up. and then you start getting up into the branches. It's amazing when you look at your body next to one of them. I mean, it's, they kind of dwarf you. You start to notice how complex and beautiful the tree is, and the climbing can become a little bit more difficult at that point, because you have to navigate around all the branches. It's like, how did this thing get to be like this? It's really just mind blowing. You end up with some bruises, and definitely it's, uh, a breathtaking process, literally, but that's when you're actually just starting to get to work. I mean, that's when you start collecting your samples and that's where the science begins. I really love this job because it's a nice synthesis of athleticism and science. It's really humbling and I think it makes you think a little bit about your place in the universe and on the planet and what a short period of time that we have compared to these trees that have managed to survive and live in the same exact place for so many years.